imagine breaking racial barriers, setting NBA records, and winning a title championship all within one season. Now imagine you can barely even remember it all. This is the harsh reality for Duquesne alum and basketball star Jim Tucker. After his years at Duquesne, Jim Tucker played basketball in the NBA from 1954 to 1957 with the Syracuse Nationals. Later in life, he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Intrigued with his success, yet sympathetic with his diagnosis, family friend and film director Field Humphrey decided to capture the former athlete's life after the court. He was telling me about Jim and his story and his history at Duquesne and his history in the NBA. So I've done a lot of sports documentaries in the past. He told me about his granddad, Jim, and the amazing things he did and what he's currently go going through with his Alzheimer's. We just knew it was a great story and we felt like people needed to know it. At the premiere and panel discussion, Humphrey decided to partner with the Alzheimer's Association Pennsylvania chapter to help raise awareness of the disease and how it affects its victims. I think that this film is really going to shed a light on the importance of talking about an Alzheimer's diagnosis. Today there is still such a stigma attached to being diagnosed with Alzheimer's that people are afraid to talk about. In the documentary, Let Him Know You're There, Tucker speaks candidly about his struggles but doesn't let them overshadow his accomplishments. In 1955, during his time with the Nationals, he hit a triple-double in 17 minutes, setting a new record for the whole NBA. He was also one of the first out of two African-American men to win a championship title that same year. For the community, I think it means uh, a lot. You know, uh, I know their team was ranked, I think, top 10 in all three years he was here, so, you know, as a basketball program, they can go. And to show their respect in return, the entire Duquesne men's basketball team was in attendance of the premiere. Although the athletic recognition is nice, Humphrey was sure to stay on track with the documentary and focusing on what's important. He remembers the important stuff in life, and that's kind of what we are touching on in this documentary, that although the basketball accolades are awesome, um, what has stuck with him is his teammates, his family, his loved ones. And so I think his legacy is definitely cemented in the way that he makes people feel and how people made him feel, and that's kind of what we want to touch on is uh, what's really important in life and what legacy really is. Let him know you're there airs tonight on WQED at 8 p.m. From DSTV, I'm Michaela Hall.